Hi, I'm Dr. Sandra Gabo. I'm a medical doctor from Australia. And I've been using nutritional medicine for 40 years. It's a long time. And it really is um, a very satisfying area of medicine to practice because you get results. And nutritional medicine treats the cause of disease by helping you to have healthy cells. Let's talk about a fascinating mineral called selenium. S-E-L-E-N-I-U-M. I'm sure you've heard of it. But a lot of us don't realize just how essential it is for our immune system. Without a doubt, selenium is the most important mineral for your immune system. How do you know if you have enough in your body? Well, you can have a blood test, but that's only going to show you what you've recently taken in the form of a, a selenium supplement or in your diet. So that doesn't really show you the total amount of selenium in your body. It's like the tip of the iceberg. It's very hard to know if your whole body, in other words, all of your cells, have enough selenium. We can do a hair analysis that's slightly representative, but then every tissue is different. For example, your thyroid gland concentrates more selenium than any other part of your body. So, you know, doing these tissue biopsies or hair analysis or toenail clippings is just a general guide. But I would say don't be deficient in selenium because the studies have shown just how vitally important this mineral is for our health and our longevity. Do you want to have a long, healthy life? Well, you don't want to be deficient in selenium, particularly if you have a family history of cancer or you have a weak immune system. There's a lot of wonderful studies that have been done on selenium. I've been following them for many years. And you can go to a website called seleniumresearch.com and that lists a lot of the studies that have been done over many years to show the profound protective effect of selenium in your body. And really the greatest pioneer of selenium is Dr. Richard Passwater, and he's the, the creator of that website. And he is a, a, a very clever, if not brilliant, biochemist who has dedicated his life to researching nutritional medicine, and particularly selenium. So check it out, seleniumresearch.com. So why do I like selenium? Well, it's like a little mechanic that repairs things. So it goes into the inner part of your cell, which is the nucleus of your cell, where you have your DNA, your genome, and it finds damage. And it will go along and repair damage. And it complexes itself with various proteins, such as glutathione, which is the most powerful antioxidant in your body. That enables it to repair damage to your DNA. So that is a profoundly beneficial effect. And indeed, there was an excellent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in 1996. And it showed the protective effect of selenium if a dose of 200 micrograms, which isn't very much, remember, that's not milligrams, that's micrograms, a day was given, 200 micrograms a day was given. Um, and that showed a very, very powerful protective effect um, in a large clinical study. So you can look that up. Um, also, another study showed that adults who lived in geographic areas where the soils were very deficient in selenium had increased morbidity and mortality rates from cancer. So this is a, another very good study and looked at 25 cities in the United States of America and uh, showed that um, in selenium deficient areas people had a higher incidence of heart disease and cancer. Another study that I really like was done in China and it's a huge study. It looked at over 130,000 people over eight years. So it's a long study and it compared a group of people with hepatitis B virus, which is very, very common in Asia. Um, and it looked at a control group 
who were given selenium in a dose of 200 micrograms a day to a group who were given a placebo. And they were given no form of supplementation, just a placebo, which is an inactive pill. And over eight years, they found that the people who were given selenium reduced their risk of liver cancer by over one third, by over 30%. So that's a very good protective effect. So that's in people with the hepatitis B virus, which is a chronic infection. Now, liver cancer is very, very common today and it doesn't have a good prognosis. So if we can prevent it through diet and lifestyle, not drinking too much, uh, not smoking, getting enough antioxidants in our diet, and particularly by getting enough selenium, then we've achieved a lot. So this wonderful study that was done in China and over 130,000 people over eight years is very, very significant and it shows that selenium can greatly reduce the risk of getting liver cancer. So anyone with viral hepatitis, I strongly recommend that they take selenium. So we can see selenium is a very protective mineral. Selenium also has anti-inflammatory effects and also antiviral effects. And a lot of studies have shown that in people with chronic viral infections, that selenium is able to reduce the amount of virus in the body. So some people call it the viral birth control pill, if you like. It reduces the ability of viruses to replicate, so it can reduce the amount of virus in your body, reduce the viral load. And the other thing that I like about selenium is it enables glutathione to work. So you would have heard of glutathione. That's the most powerful antioxidant in your body. It has an anti-inflammatory effect. Very important for people with autoimmune disease or allergies or painful conditions where there's inflammation involved. And so if we have enough selenium, the glutathione in our body will be able to work more efficiently. So don't be low in selenium and check it out. It's a really exciting mineral for people of all ages. You can have children who are low in selenium and they're going to get more frequent allergies, um, eczema, asthma, dermatitis, hay fever. Uh, they may have viral infections such as warts that won't go away. They may have a fragile immune system. They get frequent upper respiratory tract infections. And then you've got people in middle age who are starting to get more arthritis and more inflammation. So selenium is something that can help them. And then you've got older people who are over the age of 65 who are more prone to getting severe flu or influenza or autoimmune disease. So people of all ages can benefit from selenium supplementation. Now you can get selenium in your diet, but if the soils are deficient, you're not going to get enough. We know that Brazil nuts are the highest source of selenium, but if the Brazil nuts are grown in soils where the selenium content is low, you can't rely on them. So I generally recommend people get 100 to 200 micrograms of selenium a day in a supplement form because that's what the studies have shown is the effective dose. So I love selenium. It's something I've been researching for 30 years and check it out. Visit seleniumresearch.com. That's seleniumresearch.com. And if you have any questions, give us a call at liverdoctor.com. You can phone our friendly naturopaths or email us. And we love to hear from people and how they have benefited in their lives from using selenium.